Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. That's so fun. Oh, this lens, this lens is out of control with the flares. Flashlights are fun. Flashlights are fun. Though it may look like it from, well, everything that we're doing today, the point of today's video is not to test lens flares on the Tokina 11-16. I love this lens. I love it. The point of today is to actually test the audio syncing capabilities in DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut. So, as you can see, I've got my Audio-Technica, sorry, hitting the light. Uh, my big juicy mic, we got a hot mic, we're just rolling the audio straight tonight, so I'm going to have one big audio track, and then obviously a bunch of clips strung together on the video side. And really, I just want to test today what is the overall experience of taking these clips that we've shot so far, taking this single source of audio track, and syncing them in post between DaVinci and Final Cut. Because I've kind of done this in the throughout the years and had mixed results and I guess just for like my workflow on this channel. I am curious which one I like better or I don't know which one I think is better for this specific workflow for me. So I don't know. We just we just shot this stuff. Did it work? <laughs> let's let's go find out. Watch me hate like both of them and I'm like, "Wow, I had to manually sync this and this video sucks." And we sit down and I go, "This this is terrible." I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully this was easy. But let's go find out. Ironically, the clap sync works great in both um, Final Cut and DaVinci, but again, this is a different use case. So, we are going to make a new project in DaVinci Resolve called Audio Sync Test. And we are going to drag this intro bin over into our media pool. And so for DaVinci Resolve, what I'm hoping for is that if I select all of these clips, the audio and the video clips, that if I, so if I hit Command A, I can right click and hit, uh, where is it? Auto sync audio, whoops, clicked the wrong thing. Auto sync audio, waveform, and hit sync. And does this work? Am I able to take this first clip and flip it? And how does the audio sound? I don't even know if that's a good idea. That clip sounds good. Um, let's let's go to the last clip. How's the audio on the last clip? We also need to flip this one. I don't know which one I think is better for this yeah. specific workflow. That is perfect. Oh my gosh. Da Vinci, you did exactly what I was hoping for. So if you have one audio track, it is smart enough to sync with all of your clips. Let's just check the second to last one really quick to make sure. And really, I just want to test today what is the overall experience of taking these clips that we've shot so far, taking this sync. Frick yeah, that was beautiful. Okay, so that was easy. That was like a few clicks, you guys just saw it. DaVinci Resolve did what I was hoping it would do. Awesome, check, win, ding. DaVinci, you win a point. But now let's open up Final Cut Pro and let's see what we got going on over here in good old Apple land. Let's do a new event called Audio Sync Test. New keyword collection. I'm gonna just say intro or I don't know, I could have called it test. And let's drag all of these over to this keyword selection. Now, same thing. If I hit Command plus A, select all of the clicks, clips, right click and hit synchronize clips. Uh, use audio for synchronization, disable audio on AV clips, synced test. Yeah, let's just see what this does. Does this work? How I want it, how it worked in DaVinci. I did exactly what I wanted it to do in DaVinci. Okay, so it made one big clip, which is, that actually, ooh, this is kind of nice too. So it makes one big clip, which this is sweet because I could do my upside down on the whole clip. Okay, how's the audio? Today is to actually test the audio syncing cap- Oh, yeah, buddy. It may look like it from, well, everything oh, wait. that we're doing today. The point of today's video is not to test- Okay, okay, interesting. 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 That sounds out of sync. So what about the last clip? Didn't I click, didn't I click disable? 
audio vi- like video or audio on video tracks hold on let's let's try this one more time and just make sure i'm not going crazy let's delete this synced clip so let's do move to trash yeah that's not doing what i expected so if i drill in here and i turn down the audio on all of these then it does the point of today is what I expect, but that's actually a huge pain in the butt that I have to turn those down, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm... Yeah, look at that. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, what are, what are we doing wrong here? Because it seems like it should be smart enough to figure this out. So, now, that's not like an insanely painful workflow to do what I just did, and I do kind of like that it's one clip, being one clip with the black is actually kind of nice, but in DaVinci, it keeps them all as separate clips, Which one I think is better for this specific and it syncs it and it gets rid of the original audio. Hmm. Okay, shocker internet, Jake is conflicted because he likes the implementation of both DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut. That's never happened before. No, but in all seriousness, I think I'm pretty all right with both of these implementations. I think generally speaking, I do like DaVinci's better. It seems like it's being a little bit smarter. It's doing more of the work that I don't want to do at all when I'm doing this exact workflow. Um, but Final Cut does make it one clip and it's not that hard to turn down the audio video clips. Again, that might be a bug. Like that might legitimately be a bug I need to report or something because I'm very confused at what is happening there. But I will say, not a lot of grievances here. Actually, both of them did pretty much what I wanted them to do, which is great because this is, this is, a, I, you know, I should have said this in the beginning, but I just want to test that this workflow works because I'm going to make more videos like this in the future, um, just around the shed doing exactly what we did in the intro. So anyway, um, moral of the story, I still love DaVinci Resolve. I still love Final Cut Pro. I think if I had to pick one, DaVinci wins on this particular test for syncing and Final Cut Pro like loses ever so slightly, maybe as a bug. We're not totally sure, but I don't know. I'd use either. I'd use either, and both of them are going to work for my workflow that I want to do here. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much. If you like what we're doing here in the Dorky Dad Dojo, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here. Um, and if you really love what we're doing, maybe you've seen a few videos, consider becoming a Dorky Dad member. The Dorky Daddies are the biggest nerds in town. We just love them. They uh, get exclusive videos through walking through editing, teaching editing, that kind of stuff. Um, when I figure these things out, make videos about it and share it with you guys. So consider becoming a Dorky Daddy. And with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get back to editing. And as always, stay dorky.